What's going on my friend, it is Danny here from foxohealth.com and in this video I'm going to talk about four ways in which ketosis may be able to keep us young. So first of all, quick disclaimer, don't take the content of this video as medical advice, it's for information purposes only. So let's dive in, so let's start with ketosis, what is ketosis? Well, I've talked about ketosis quite a bit in my previous video, so I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but if you want to know more just click the link to a previous video which will appear here in a second. And and you can find out more. But for now, let me just say that broadly speaking, ketosis is a metabolic state where we're burning fat as our primary fuel source rather than sugar. And we get into this metabolic state by first of all depleting all the sugar or glucose reserves in our liver. And once we've done that, our body start, starts to use the fat in our, in our body and converts the fat into these ketone bodies. And these ketone bodies are basically the fuel source that we're using. And, and you kind of know if you're in ketosis because you, you have to have a certain number of ketone bodies in your bloodstream and you can do that quite easily by just buying ketone strips. If you pee on a strip and it changes colour, basically you're in ketosis. So that's the broad overview. Ketosis is where we're in a fat burning state basically. Now how does being in ketosis keep us young? So I said I'd talk about four ways. So let's talk about the first way. Now the first way, when we're in ketosis, we actually produce less reactive uh, oxidative stress to the body. So what is oxidative stress? So unfortunately, oxidative stress is a driver of aging and it's part of everyday living. We can't avoid it basically. So things like eating, breathing, exercising, we're gonna get oxidative stress. So as an example, when we eat a meal, we actually produce a byproduct of, of that process, um, which is called reactive oxygen species, or ROS or ROS. And the reactive oxygen species is causing this oxidative stress. So it's damaging our cells, it's damaging our bodies, and it can actually cause DNA damage as well. So we want to kind of lower it if possible. So um, it's also been known as free radical damage as well. So you've probably heard of free radicals and reactive oxygen species are basically free radicals. And there's a whole theory of aging called the free radical theory of aging as well, which is put forward by Den Harmon, which goes into more detail. So basically the oxidative stress is a part of everyday living and um, and we're getting stressed by these reactive oxygen species. So being in ketosis actually lowers the amount of reactive oxygen species, which is great news. Now, a good little analogy to help kind of get your head around this is to think about eating fat and burning fat as your primary fuel source, i.e. ketosis, is like driving an electric car. So it's like a clean fuel source. Now on the flip side, when we're burning sugar as our primary fuel source, it's like driving an, a, a petrol car because we're kind of producing this pollution in the form of uh, ROS or reactive of oxygen species, which is causing the oxidative damage basically. So how does ketosis actually reduce the amount of uh, ROS? Well, it turns out that being in ketosis is actually, or kind of burning fat as our primary fuel source, is more efficient than burning sugar in that we require less oxygen to produce a unit of energy. So a byproduct of burning fat or burning sugar is this reactive oxygen species. So but by default, basically, if we actually require less oxygen to actually produce a unit of energy, and we put less oxygen into the process, we're gonna get less reactive oxygen species out of the process. It's kind of a simple kind of balanced equation really. So that's a great way it does it. So basically we reduce our oxidative stress by reducing our reactive oxygen species production basically. And we do that because we require less oxygen to produce a unit of energy because burning fat is more efficient than burning sugar. So that's the first way it keeps us young. Now, the second way is actually my favorite, and that is by increasing the activation of a gene or metabolic pathway in the body uh, called, or oh, sorry, genetic pathway in the body called FOXO3. Now, FOXO3 has been referred to by some people as a longevity gene, and that is because of several reasons. But one of the reasons is that people that have a variation in their FOXO3 gene, which results in its increased expression or activation, have a 2.7 fold increased likelihood of living to be 100 years old, which is really great news. Now the FOXO3 gene is an amazing pathway, it does various things, but basically it's a master regulator of a whole raft of other uh, genes which are basically anti-aging um, uh, pathways and genes basically. So to give you some examples, so number one it increases the activation of DNA damage repair genes, um, it increases activation of um, uh, antioxidant genes as well, so it can kind of prevent that DNA damage in the first place. 
It activates an autophagy pathway in the body. So basically autophagy is the clearing away of damaged cells, which we, which we really want to do. So we can get those kind of horrible cells out of our body that are secreting kind of crap and, and bad stuff. Um, it activates genes that are involved in the immune system, which is really good, and activates, activates genes that are involved in stem cell function as well. So how does being in ketosis activate this FOXO3 gene? Well, I mentioned before that when we're in ketosis and we're burning fat as our primary fuel source, we're producing these ketone bodies. Uh, one of these ketone bodies is called the, the beta-hydroxybutyrate. And as well as being a really good fuel source, it actually serves as a signaling molecule to activate kind of genetic pathways. And you guessed that it, it activates this, this beta-hydroxybutyrate activates FOXO3. So that's, that's really good news. So that's the second way that being in ketosis can keep us young. Now, the third way is actually by reducing the activation of our insulin insulin signaling pathway. So, in, so when we eat a meal that's going to be high in refined carbs and sugar, that sugar ends up in our bloodstream and we want to get that uh, sugar out of our bloodstream basically. And we do that by reducing insulin in the pancreas. And the insulin gives a message for us to move that sugar from the blood into our cells and store the energy basically. So that's what's happening there. Now, we're, now, now uh, the insulin signaling pathway is said to be a key driver of aging, and that's really not surprising. So if we go through our lives and we keep eating meals that are high in sugar and high in refined carbs and, and refined sugar, then basically we're gonna really be hammering this insulin signaling pathway and producing lots and lots of insulin. So when we do that, we're gonna end up with problems in the future. So things like diabetes and obesity and cancer, it's gonna drive. So that's why it's kind of called a, you know, a key driver of aging. So we wanna kind of dampen that, the activation of that pathway. Now the good news is being in ketosis by default means we're not eating refined sugar and carbs because you can't stay in ketosis when you eat them. So basically if, you're, if, you, if you eat um, carbs or sugar you're going to spike your blood sugar and that is going to um, uh, cause your insulin to spike basically. It will activate this insulin signaling pathway and that will kick you out of ketosis. Now you can get away with fiber, fiber is okay, but you can't get away with um, refined carbs and sugar. So when we're in ketosis, we're not eating any sugar and carbs. We can't by default basically, or we can't be in ketosis. So we're really, we're really massively reduced in the activation of this insulin signaling pathway, which is really get great news. So we're really kind of gonna get, get these um, longevity benefits from doing that. So that's the third way that ketosis can potentially keep us young. Now the fourth way ketosis can keep us young is through the inhibition of HDACs. And HDAC stands for histone deacetylase. And HDACs are said to be epigenetic regulators. And again, HDACs are said to be drivers of aging. They cause aging or have been associated to aging. So it turns out that again, that ketosis can actually inhibit the HDACs. And it does that by the same way as the FOXO3. So remember, when we're burning fat as our primary fuel source, we produce these ketone bodies. And one of those ketone bodies is beta-hydroxybutyrate, and that acts as a signaling molecule to actually inhibit the HDAC. So that is the fourth way that ketosis can keep us young. So let me just recap what I've just talked about to wrap up the video. So we'll talk about the four ways again. So the first way that ketosis can keep us young is by reducing the amount of oxidative stress to our bodies, which again is a driver of aging. And it does that by producing less reactive, reactive oxygen species. And that's because burning fats rather than sugar is much more efficient, basically, because we require less oxygen to produce a unit of energy. So if we have less oxygen going into the process, we'll have less reactive oxygen species coming out of the process. So that's the first way. Now the second way is by activating the FOXO3 gene. Remember, FOXO3 is a master regulator of a whole other raft of genes, um, which will all have anti-aging benefits, basically, and keep us healthy and young. Um, so again, being in ketosis does that by producing the beta-hydroxybutyrate molecule, and that is a signaling molecule to activate FOXO3 and increase its expression. So the third way is by reducing the activation of our insulin signaling pathway. And remember, we don't want to have too much of that insulin because that is kind of a, when we hammer our insulin and keep producing too much, we we become kind of resistant to it and it leads to diabetes, obesity and, and cancer basically. So when we're in ketosis, by default, we're not eating any refined carbs and sugar. So we're massively reducing our insulin signaling pathway, which is great. It's gonna give us those uh, longevity benefits to keep us young. 
Now, the fourth way is by the HDAC inhibitions. Remember, HDAC is a, a, a driver of aging, and when we're in ketosis, we're producing this beta hydroxybutyrate, and that actually serves as a signaling molecule to actually inhibit the HDAC. So there we go, Those, that's the video. So that's four, four ways that ketosis can keep us young. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please, please hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified of those as they are released. And until the next time, please take care.